Hello everybody, my name is Savvy and welcome to this snow watch on this Monday afternoon. My name is Savvy, how are you guys doing? It's good to see you. We've got some coal potential and some snow potential that is going to be increasing as we progress towards the new year. Things are getting cold. I'm going to be taking a look at the models today in this snow watch. Savvy special, let's do this. So we're going to start off with the GFS and we're going to go over to next weekend and just have a look at the snow potential for the rest of the week. So we're starting off with today, Monday. Day. There we go. We've got some snow in Wales, parts of Snowdonia, parts of Northwest Scotland, and the West Midlands. And as we move on to midweek, that snowy potential really only gets confined to the north and northwest parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northwestern Ireland. Most places staying dry. Maybe parts of North Wales where I am, that red dot, hell freaking yeah. That's where we're going to be getting some snow. I'm looking forward to it. But Wednesday is really mainly going to be dry for the majority of the country. You can see some deep snow for northern parts of Scotland there. As you can see the purple colours. That could be some snow accumulation over higher ground or even some lower ground in exposed areas. Deep snow possible for Scotland. And that snow is never really disappearing from the north of Wales either. Now as we move on into the later stages of the week, that snow as you can see is going to start pushing its way southwards. And more of the country is going to be exposed to some of that snow risk. We've got some purple colours appearing in northern England there. Maybe Espy could be getting some snow. And that cold potential is only going to further increase as we progress to New Year. Most places seeing some snow or rain, sleet and snow. Apparently I could be in for a little bit of a covering maybe if this snow potential pulls off. Anyways, you can see, look. The snow around North Wales is lingering around and that progresses into the weekend as well. But I, I imagine that most of this is going to be falling as sleet around coastal areas. So I wouldn't expect a massive dumping. But as we go over to the weekend, things kind of dry up. The picture is looking drier. Maybe more in the way of rain or freezing rain. And that snow becoming more and more isolated as the week progresses. Nothing really is changing the arpege as well. We've got some snow potential. Rain, sleet and snow for northwestern parts of Wales. Things looking mostly dry on Monday. Maybe some snow potential for parts of Scotland. But as we move on into midweek, that snow potential is going to increase for the rest of the country as temperatures do get colder. Some snow possible there through the Midlands. Most of us seeing some dry weather with some sunny spells as we move on into Wednesday. And as we move on into Thursday, that snow potential is going to increase once again and move into the south. Once again, our page is showing that temperatures are indeed going to be getting colder. The snow risk is going to be increasing as we move further on towards the new year. But I suspect a lot of this snow will mainly be confined to higher ground. With lower levels and coastal areas seeing this mainly in the way of sleet and snow mixed in. Onto the icon and a similar story as we start off the week. Snow mainly confined to western areas or northwestern areas of the country. That moving southwards and to the Midlands. And as we progress further on into the week, the snow shower risk does continue and push its way through central parts of the country and moves southwards. Midweek, as we move on into Wednesday, things dry up a little bit, but staying quite wintry up in Scotland. And once again on Thursday, the snow is going to push its way southwards. Maybe not so generous on the snow on the icon, but generally it's following the same trend, getting colder as the week progresses and we get closer to New Year. The Tomatio ECMWF is looking like this. Once again, snow is confined to western and northwestern parts of the country. This may be a little bit more generous than snow cover. It's not that well supported as we're looking a second as we move on into Wednesday. Big areas of snow moving into the country, as you can see there. A large area of snow for the majority of the country. Most of Wales there, Midlands, the West Midlands, southeastern parts of the country. Most southern areas, really, of the UK, they're seeing some snow or some significant snow. And that continues into New Year with more snow moving southwards. A lot of this could be mixed with some rain. With ECMWF, that snow really does stick around before we head off into the new year. And the majority of that turns into rainfall and things get a bit drier for the rest of the country. Moving on to Meteo Seal, and it's the same kind of story. Snow for north and northwestern parts of the country. A lot of this falling as sleet or snow. Snow on this run looking a lot more patchy, a lot more hit and miss. Maybe some snow for me once again. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Some snow for Savvy. As we move through this run, as you can see, the snow is going to be very, very patchy, very hit and miss. You'd be lucky if you hit one of these little snow blizzards. So definitely the potential for some snow with this run, it seems to be a lot more hit and miss. 
And finally, the WRF, as we can see, the snow risk once again in north and northwestern parts of the country. As we move on into tonight, that is going to fall as sleet and snow across parts of England and Wales. Perhaps turning a bit dry afterwards, but as we move on into midweek, things are going to be getting colder. The rain is going to be falling as snow, especially for parts of North Wales and northwestern Scotland. Mainly dry for the rest of the country, with a few isolated snow showers possible. But other than that, it's a dry and cold picture, with the snow risk increasing as we head over to New Year, especially in the north. As you can see, Scotland could be getting quite a dumping of snow over the next week or so. So some very interesting charts. It looks like the snow risk is going to be increasing as we get closer and closer to New Year. Maybe a bit of a dry spell for the majority of the country as we head into midweek. Temperatures are indeed getting colder. That sleet is increasingly turning to snow on lower levels. But it's always going to be a bit more difficult to get snow on those coastal areas. So, sad face to savvy. But I got some sleet last night, which is good. Which is which is fantastic. I haven't seen sleet in like a million years. So, whoo! So, if you guys enjoyed that little snow, which was my first snow watch. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. Maybe drop a sub. The gaff. That would be epic. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye for now.